This is Nathan Crutchfield. In this segment, we will be discussing the job hazard analysis process. Uh, in order to complete the job hazard analysis, you should be thinking in terms of a process where you have a point of beginning, gathering all the information about the job, and moving on to the standard operating procedures that will incorporate all the findings of the job hazard analysis. The materials presented are from job hazard analysis by James Routon and Nathan Crutchfield, published by Butterworth Heinemann. The job hazard analysis has a number of pros as well as cons. Uh, it is an essential safety management tool used consistently and correctly. It will increase your ability to build an inventory or portfolio of hazards and risk associated with the various jobs within your organization and being performed by your employees. It also helps you develop a mental map that will aid you in improving your skills in the development of the interrelationships between jobs, tasks, and the dynamics of the organization. As you build a portfolio of job hazard analyses, you can improve your safety toolbox and the skills that will increase your effectiveness in implementing your programs in the face of what we are now seeing as constant organizational change. It provides you a basic methodology and structure to recognize hazards, as well as the elements of personal behavioral choices that are associated with each job. On the con side, this will require commitment and for you to break the habit of working just toward programs and not think in terms of a process. Therefore, it will require time and budget. It will require patience. We are not developing a product. We are trying to develop a process in which you can clearly define all the elements of risk and hazard that go into the various jobs and tasks that are completed by your organization on a day-to-day -day basis. And last but not least, you may find out things you really didn't want to find out about. As we see it, the job hazard analysis process requires a number of steps. The first step is to pull together all the information possible about the job its tasks and steps that are required to complete the actions for a successful job. We will be using the fishbone or cause and effect diagram to pull this information together. The second part is to do a pre-hazard assessment and get a feel for what the basic risk and hazards are. We'll be developing steps and tasks, look at the environment, look at tools, equipment, and materials, and a few other aspects of the job. The next phase is to prioritize the jobs and the elements of the jobs by their potential risk severity. When that's completed, we determine the modifications or controls using the hierarchy of controls. Then we will move into the actual development of the job hazard analysis, and from the job hazard analysis, develop standard operating procedures that incorporate safety right into the training and management of the job itself. We will continue the process in our future discussions and work our way through job hazard analysis, a guide for voluntary compliance and beyond.